Hey everyone, it's Armytrix, and in this video I thought I'd make a quick tutorial on how to install and use HLAE and Smooth Offer for creating cinematics and smooths in CSGO for your frag videos. So, uh, recently I started experimenting with this thanks to a friend of mine, and I thought I'd show people how to use it because when I was looking around on YouTube there weren't many recent or updated tutorials on this. So first of all, you'll want to head over to advancedeffects.org slash download and get HLAE. Make sure you download the full zip, you don't need to get the source codes. And just save it somewhere on your desktop. Then download Smooth Offer, make sure you get the latest version again. And save the zip on your desktop into a folder. Now go in and find your folder over here. And the two extracted uh, files you got there, you can extract them and you'll have HLE over here and smooth off of here. So first of all what you want to do is log into an account you don't want or need or if you can't do that it's fine to stay on your current account but there's a few safety precautions you'll have to do. And you'll want to make sure you go on to go offline mode and restart Steam in offline mode. All you have to do is click the settings, which should be up here if you're us not using a skin like me, and click go offline. Then once that's done, go into your library, go into CSGO, properties, set launch options, and make sure you have dash insecure inside your launch options here. Hit OK and close. Now you can close Steam again, you don't need to quit, just close it, and launch HLAE. You don't need to run it as an administrator, it doesn't need those permissions. And if there's an update available, you can get it if you want to. I'll just ignore that for now. You want to go into Tools, Developer, and Custom Loader. From here, you'll want to hit Browse, and go and find, for Hook DLL, the HLAE folder that you just found. The one that you just extracted. And find afxhooksource.dll. This is the one that's used in CSGO and Source. So hit OK for that. And your program path is your path to your CSGO directory. So for me that'll be in C, Program Files x86, Steam, and Steam Apps, Common, Counter-Strike, and CSGO.exe. Then in here, the command line should read as follows here. Steam, Insecure, Console, Game, CSGO. If that's not what it says first time, just write that in into the command line. And when you've done that, just hit OK to launch the game. Also, if you have trouble launching the game, go back into your uh, directory and you'll find a folder called Add-ons. Delete the Add-ons folder inside the CSGO folder in your directory. And then try launching it again and it should work. Now once you have launched it, it should say Valve Anti-Cheat here is disabled because you have the insecure flag. Hit OK so that, that's what should be coming up if you've done this right. Now open up your console and hit Demo UI to open up your demo playback. You want to load the demo you want to record here, so mine will be in replays and somewhere around here, whatever. For example, this one. Okay, now you want to find where whatever happened that you got your trick shot or three triple kill or whatever. Open up demo you were once again and find the round that you were on when this happened. So for me that was around around this point here. So once you've found the bit that you want to record at, just play it back to see if it's working fine. And this seems to be, yeah, looks fine. Now, make note of the tick you were on before it started. So for me, that was about 95911. And you can go back to that tick, go a bit behind that tick, so 9590 or whatever. And then from this point, which is a bit further back, you'll want to do CL underscore draw only death notices 1 to get rid of all the HUD, apart from the death notices, which is what you probably want. Then open up Demo UI once again, hit Edit, and in here you'll want to go to New, Play Commands, go to Time, Use Tick. Now here you want to enter the tick that you want to start out at, and mine was 95911, 
and for command you want to do host underscore frame rate 1000 which is the rate we want to record at then do merv underscore cam export start and the name of the file you want to export it to so for this I'll do uh, tutorial 1.pvh and then you type the uh, frame rate again at the end so that's 1000 again hit ok and now you want to add another play command time use tick once again and this has to be the tick that you finished on that's the end of your uh, little sequence this is where you'll finish your uh, smooth so for this you'll want to enter that tick again and for me that's about 96,200 and the command here should be host underscore frame rate zero to know that your export has finished and now the actual command is merf underscore cam export stop and that's it hit ok there and hit save and ok now if we resume this demo it should start recording the cam export as soon as we get to that particular tick now once that's happening you can control your camera however you like so I can do this, just follow my guy as we go along and as he jumps down here and then he gets the kills just use your mouse to follow around, it won't be that smooth at first but we're gonna fix that later on and there we go, that's the end of that tick and it should start going fast as soon as your uh, bits ended. Now you can stop your demo again, stop it there, and go back to a tick before you started playing. So, maybe just before then. Go up to that point there. And this is the part we'll be using Smooth Offer for. for. We'll be using that to smooth our demo uh, recording out. So tab back out, and now you can open up Smooth Offer. This doesn't need to be run in administration mode either, just double click it and make sure you have Java installed. Go to File, Import BVH File, and this is the file we just created, and that should be found in your C drive inside your Steam and CSGO folder too. Steam apps, common, CSGO, and here it is, tutorial1.bvh. By the way, uh, if you have the add-ons folder here, you might want to delete it inside the CSGO folder. But if you don't, just import your tutorial1.bvh, <coughs> and it should look kind of not very smooth, to be honest. So we're going to add keyframes, and this smooths the part in between the keyframes using each keyframe as a reference. So we'll want to put one here, because we don't want to jump out. And in general, it takes a bit of time, but just put a keyframe whenever there's a big jump and at the end of that big jump, and it should smooth that area out. For example, here. Here, you can just put it down randomly and it should work anyway, but if you want the best result, just put it in between every big jump. And another one here. And that should be the end. When you've done that, hit edit, generate splines, and it should have smoothed out every curve here, as you can see. And then you'll want oops. Then you'll want to go back to Smooth Offer. Go to File, Export Splines to BVH file. And click your old one and save and you'll want to overwrite that. Now you can close Smooth Offer, you're done there. Go back into CSGO. Back in CSGO, you'll want to go to edit and delete your previous two ones, but remember the tick on both of them. Now create a new one here. Play commands, time use tick once again. And we're on 95911. Host underscore frame rate 1000 once again, but this time we're going to use merv underscore cam import tutorial start. Sorry, you make sure you put start there. Tutorial1.pvh. You don't need to put the frame rate at the end this time because we're importing it. Hit OK and create one more to stop it, like last time. 
Time use tick. 96,200. You want to do host underscore frame rate zero to make sure you know when it's finished and merv underscore cam import stop. Save that. And you're pretty much done there. Now you want to go back to that tick again and hit uh, resume on your demo playback. Then it should give you the smooth that you want and you can record that with fraps or shadow play or whatever. So let's look at what R1 looks like now. And that's the end of our one. So that is how to create a quick smooth using HLE and smooth offer without getting VAT banned really quickly and easily. I'm sorry this tutorial was so fast, but I wanted to keep it quite quick and concise unlike the other tutorials available on the internet. So thanks for watching and if you have any questions, I'll answer them as soon as I can in the comment section below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. And if this helped you out, make sure to subscribe and like and see you next time. Goodbye.